Hello friends, my name is Ruby Wire, and welcome to Ruby Wire's Root Beer Bottles. Today, I would like to share with you something that is very special to me. I shall explain how this came to be. When I was a young lad, around the age of 12, maybe 13, I used to collect Fago bottles. Go ahead and put one of those right here. There were so many different flavors, tons of flavors, and I wanted to collect them all. It was like Pokemon, except plastic bottles. But here's the thing about collecting plastic bottles. They don't collect well. They get all warped and bent and dented, and it's just not a good time for anyone. So instead, I shed the Fago bottles for something new and improved that could stand the test of time. Root beer bottles. I, Ruby Wire, have an affinity for root beer. I love it. It's my favorite drink. It's not good for you in any means, but I really enjoy it. So I figured there's all kinds of root beer bottles out there in the world, and there's all kinds of different root beer companies, so it shouldn't be hard to start a collection of root beer bottles. And over the course of I want to say four years, freshman to senior year, no, it would have been later than that. Over the course of four or five years, maybe, I have been collecting bottles. Granted, slowly. It is not as easy to, easy to find root beer bottles as you might think. So I have decided to share with you my collection of root beer bottles. And I have lined them up in alphabetical order. And I'm going to go through, tell you anything I can remember about when I, uh, when I got this bottle. And I'm going to, what else am I going to do? Oh, in the description, I'm going to make the list alphabetically of every root beer bottle that I have here. So that we can know. So without further ado, I'm going to take a drink of water. And then I'm going to share my collection with you. I hope you are ready to have a good time. Because I know I sure am. We start with Barks. Drink Barks. It's good. Now this bottle is very fun because it's got this nice little diamond pattern here. That I, you should be able to see that. It's got this nice little pattern here. It's a clear root beer bottle, which you don't see a lot of. Maybe every, like one in five. One in five root beer bottles is a clear root beer bottle. Barks root beer is a well-known brand. It's actually my favorite brand of root beer. Um, and it is very sweet, very delicious. I got this bottle when I visited my brother and we went to a little soda soda candy shop. What was it called? Oh, what was it called? I wrote it down. Hold on. Let me figure out what this was called because it was very good and I plan on going back and getting more bottles there. <laughs> Rocket Fizz. I got this at Rocket Fizz. I saw this and I was like, oh my goodness, Barks makes glass bottles of root beer? That's so cool. So I obtained one. And it was just like Barks root beer. Just like the, the plastic bottled stuff, but it was very delicious. Drink Barks. It's good. Next up, we have probably my favorite named root beer in a very fun little bottle. Balls. Balls Root Beer, actually this may have not only been my favorite brand and favorite name, this may have been my favorite root beer that I've had ever. This root beer was gifted to me by a lady and, oh, is it, it's, no it doesn't say anything, I thought it might be talking about something. Oh, it's from Ohio though, that's where I'm from. So this was very fun. This was a gift for me. Um, literally, it was given to me just because it says balls, and she thought it would be funny. So I have balls root beer. Ooh, yeah, look at that. How fun. That's balls. Next up, we have Boyland root beer. If I remember correctly, 
I got this one from a Cracker Barrel. I got a couple from Cracker Barrel, but this one I believe I got on the way to or from Disney World. Um, I don't remember much about the taste of this one. It wasn't too distinct for me to remember. I remember it was pretty good, and I remember it just looked very interesting. Also, since 1891, I don't know if you can read that. Since 1891, this one's been going around. This is an old root beer. Um, I don't see on any of the other bottles, on most of the other bottles, how long they've been around. So, so far, Boyland is the oldest one on the list, which is very fun, very exciting. That's Boyland Bottling Company root beer. Next up, we have Brownie Caramel Cream root beer. Oh, <laughs> the green screen is green screening part of it. That's fun. Is that green? Well, I guess so. Interesting. Okay, well, this one's from 1929. I am sorry, Brownie. Uh, oh, this is from Orca Beverage Incorporated. Orca Beverage, I am not shitting on you and your ability to, uh, to, to draft root beer. Draft, right? Um, but this tasted like garbage. I distinctly remember this being my least favorite. Caramel cream root beer just didn't taste good to me. It didn't taste like the sarsaparilla that I like. Um, so that's brownie. I got this one at a Cracker Barrel too, but I don't think I got this one at a Cracker Barrel on the way to Disney. I think I got this at a Cracker Barrel on a different occasion. Cracker Barrel nonetheless. Next up, we have Dad's Old Fashioned Root Beer. Is it cutting... It's this okay. This is clearly yellow and it's green screening it. Look at that. What the heck? Weird. That's clearly yellow. Okay. Um, this is Dad's old fashioned root beer. Does it tell me how long it's been around? No, it doesn't. This is also Orca beverage. Interesting. So, brownies and dads are both Orca beverage. That's cool. That's fun. Um, it doesn't say how long this one's been around. This one wasn't bad. I don't remember this one being very good. I don't remember it being bad. It was just, it was a nice root beer. This one I also got at a Cracker Barrel. This may have been another Disney Cracker Barrel. So this was fun. Also, my hair is getting very, very long. So that's fun. That's tasty fresh. Next up on our list, we have the original. Dang! That's good root beer. Uh, this, is, this is gluten free. How fun. How exciting. Mm. Okay, well, this one doesn't have a date on it either. So, this is from dangthatsgood.com, um, bottled by Imperial Flavors Beverage in Milwaukee. <laughs> if they have the fun little things on them, I'll read them, but a lot of them don't. Barks doesn't have it. Is Barks? Barks is Coke, right? Wait. But Barks, Sam. We're done with Barks. Um, dang, that's good root beer. It was actually pretty good. It wasn't super distinct in any way. Um, I, I enjoyed it. Pretty, I enjoyed it a good deal. I'm going to sit up higher so that when I show the bottle around, it doesn't, you know, I'm not dumb. Hmm. Dang, that's good root beer. was pretty good. I don't... I think this one was also a gift. I think I got this one for Easter one year. Um... I don't remember too much about it other than I think I actually got it in like an Easter basket that looked like a pair of pants. I believe. I don't remember too much. But dang, that's good root beer. And if you've noticed, these the majority of these bottles are brown because for some reason root beer bottles tend to be brown. I don't know why. There might be science behind that. We can we can look into that. Alright. These next two I also got while at Rocket Fizz. Um, this one I got just because the name sounded really cool. Death Valley Root Beer. I read this and I was like, oh, that's alcoholic, but it's not. Um, A Taste of the Old West, brewed by Indiana Wells Brewing Company. Any other fun facts about you? No? Okay. Death Valley Root Beer tasted like a less sweet version of of most root beers. A lot of root beers you'll get will be very sweet, but this one tasted less sweet. 
which was interesting. It wasn't bad. It wasn't my favorite, but it wasn't bad. So that's Death Valley. It's got a little picture of horses and a cowboy. Focus on the root beer, not me. This way. So that's pretty fun. This this one was also from uh, Rocket Fizz, and this is Dublin, Texas root beer. Um, anything special about you that I should know about? Hmm. Welcome to Dublin, Texas. Um, Dublin Bottling Works in Dublin, Texas. Positively Dublin. So this one is Dublin, Texas root beer, bottled by Dublin, Texas, or Dublin Bottling Works. Doesn't have a year on it. A lot of these ones recently haven't had years. Our oldest one is still boil. But this one was okay. It, it tasted like root beer. It didn't... Some of these have things about them that stand out to me. Barks, it was very, very sweet, and I really like the Barks sweetness. Whereas brownie caramel cream tasted like caramel and root beer, and that wasn't my favorite. Where's Dublin? To, oh my goodness, I didn't even look. It's getting the green screen the hell out of it. Interesting. Ooh, ooh, look at me go. Ooh. My face is gone. Um, so that's fun. This bottle is green, so it's pretty good. This next one is an independently brewed root beer for a very specific restaurant. This is El Campesino's Restaurante Mexicano Old Fashioned Root Beer. Um, this one, does it say when? Um, this is private label, labelbeverages.com in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. Interesting. Um, doesn't have a year on it. It's very dusty. I got this one at an El Campesino, it's obviously. I think I was on a date. I think I was on a date. I also think that I got very sick. But I can't remember. It wasn't the root beer that made me sick. I think I just ate too much and I got sick. The root beer was okay. It wasn't very sweet, and that kind of didn't really make it good for me. Although, when I was eating spicy Mexican food and drinking a not very sweet root beer, it kind of went good together. I remember that. So that was fun. That, excuse me, I'm burping. That is El Campesino's Old Fashioned Root Beer. Very tasty, very fresh. This next root beer bottle is a callback to my original collection. This is Fago, original root beer. This is also in a clear bottle, very unique, very interesting. Um, it was Fago that got me collecting things. So obviously it was bottled by Fago. Um, established in 1907. We got close to Boyland. Or Boyland. But only, we were like, well, carry on one. Um, 16 years off. So, Fago, it's not my favorite, but there was the nostalgia behind it, so I really did enjoy it. Ooh, look at me, I am behind the bottle. So, I really did enjoy it. It was a very, very good uh, reminder of what got me into this. Um, I also got this one from Rocket Fizz, so that was fun. <laughs> Alright, next up we have Hail Ale. Hail Ale Root Beer. This one is bottled from Private Label Beverages. Okay, cool, so that's another one. The El Campesino's one and the Hail Ale. Um, I wonder if these would have tasted the same. Hmm. But I got this one. Oh my goodness, their phone number's got a 666. I'm gonna share this phone number because I, it's a public place. You can call it, so. But it's got 666 in their phone number, so that's funny. Um, I got this one when visiting Hale Farms. Or Hale Farm and Village. They do, um. What is it called? <sighs> they do like a. a a fall festival kind of thing and a bunch of people come out and there's it's just very fun but I got this one from there and I don't remember it being good or bad because this one this would have been a while ago this would have been a couple years ago that I got this one I think I may have been there on a date as well maybe I don't remember but Hail Ales root beer pretty good this next one is a pretty well known one since 1919, um, 
Oh, I got this one on a four pack, I guess. I thought I got this one at a restaurant. Maybe not. Um, IBC. IBC is like the go-to bottled root beer at restaurants, from what I've seen. A lot of places that have bottled root beer will have IBC if they don't have their own special thingy. Um, anything special about you? Since 1919, so that one's been a while. It's not intended for an individual sale. Ooh, restaurants, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. Hold on, I need more water. I'm dehydrated. Mm-mm-mm. Tasty. Oh my goodness, phone, please stop going off. Um, IBC root beer is pretty good. Um, it's very reliable. Not as reliable as Barks, I would say. But this one has a lot less sugar from what I remember. But it still tastes pretty good. And I do enjoy this one. Um, it's also a lot fizzier than most root beers, if I remember right. There's a lot more carbonation, I think. I might be wrong in that, but I just remember this one bubbling a lot more. So that's fun. That's cool. Next up, we have Jones Cane Sugar Root Beer. It's got, it says root beer down there. Um, Jones Cane Sugar. I got this from... Oh, this is a product of Canada. That's interesting. Um, I got this one from a like health food store. I don't know why I was there. Oh wait, if you th wait, what is this? The Jones family, independence since '96. If you're like us, you think for yourself. Come on, do they really believe we'll fall for flashy ad campaigns that cost more than a solid gold private jet? Don't expect to find any of that here. We let what we do speak for itself. At Jones, we're just regular people who make good soda. Well, we can't promise you more popularity or better hair. If we like your photo, we'll put it on a bottle. Jones Soda, independent since 1996. Your photo, your soda, your brand. So I guess, oh, that's interesting. I wonder if all of these have different photos on them then. Because this one is a photo by Morgan Campbell from Michigan, Portage, Michigan. Morgan Campbell from Portage, Michigan. Uh, your photo is on this bottle of Jones. Um, I hope you see this someday. You probably never will. If you can, okay, if someone can track down Morgan Campbell from Portage, Michigan, and let him know that I have a bottle with his photo on it, I'll buy him root beer, I guess. <laughs> I'll, I'll Venmo him with some money or something. Um, so that's cool. I didn't realize that there was a... That's interesting, though. I really like that. that they, they'll put, like, submitted photos on their bottles. That's pretty cool. Because this just says compact discs, and it's not like... It's not like a root beer thing. It's just a it's just a photo. That's cool. That's nice. Okay. Next up, we're gonna have another green screened one. Um, this is Maine root beer. Maine root beer. This one was one of my least favorite regular root beers. I'm sorry to whoever brews this. Mainroot.com. Um, this one was one of my least favorites. I just, it wasn't very sweet. And it, there was a weird aftertaste, and I just remember this one not being one of my favorites. That being said, the bottle also, like, the, the, the peeling, or the, the label kind of peels, and it was, I bought this one from a, a Giant Eagle, I think. I think I got, like, a four-pack of this from Giant Eagle, and of the four bottles, this one sustained the least amount of damage when I tried to wash it. So I kept this one, but the bottle itself, solid, you know, as it should be. Whereas the label, not very great. This one doesn't have a year either. Oh, well that's a shame. I just remember this one not being, not being my favorite. It wasn't awful, it wasn't like the caramel cream root beer, which I didn't like, but this one was just, just main, main root beer. It wasn't great. It was... You know, you, we won some, you lose some. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This next one, it's got two special things. Amazing. Alright, this next one is Polar Root Beer. And, as it's, it's in a glass bottle, but 
It beats Boyland. 1882. Look at my face get warped. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It beats Boyland for the oldest of the brews. Bottled on the authority of Polar Beverages. Worcester MA. What's MA? Is that Massachusetts? <laughs> Polarclassics.com. It asked me to recycle. I'm not. Um, I do recycle. I'm not recycling these. I'm sorry. I should have clarified. <laughs> so, I got this one from Rocket Fizz as well. And I got it because I saw the polar bear and I was like, oh, look, it's a bear. And I wanted a bear on my bottle because it was cute. Um, and this one was pretty good. The entire time I was drinking it, I'm like, this polar bear should be holding a Coke in its hand because that's it's just natural for them. Coke smells me. <laughs> This one was pretty good. It was pretty sweet, pretty nice, pretty tasty. Um, but the entire time, I just, I felt, mm, polar bear. That was cool. I just, I, I like the polar bear. That's why I got it. But this one is our contender for oldest, so that's cool. I think in the description as well, I'm also going to label which one is my favorite, which one is my favorite bottle, which one is my favorite name, and which one is, oh, well, the oldest. And then which one was my least favorite. I'm sorry, but there's got to be one. So, those five things. Oh my god, I was wrong. This whole time. It wasn't the brownie caramel one that I didn't like. I didn't like that one. I didn't like it, but it wasn't my least favorite. That goes to Ramblin' Root Beer. I have to sneeze. Ramblin' Root Beer. Nothing against you and your brand. This is also by Orca Beverage. Ooh, so I must have gotten this one at a, a uh, Cracker Barrel as well. I did. I remember. Um, this is maple root beer. And this tasted like bacon root beer. It tasted like bacon. It was weird. It was like maple bacon. And it wasn't good. I remember drinking this and being like, oh, I just can't wait for this to be over. Because it wasn't good. Oh my goodness, I can't, I completely forgot about this one. There's nothing else special really about this one other than it was my very, very least favorite, very easily. Um, I just got this one on a Cracker Barrel. This one might have been, might have been a Disney Cracker Barrel as well. I can't remember. But that's Ramblin' Root Beer, my least favorite. Oh my goodness. Ugh, I'm getting bad memories. Next up is Red Ribbon. Red Ribbon Root Beer. Um... This one is 1904, so it's not our oldest, but it does have a clear bottle, which is unique. Um, the reason I got this one at um, Rocket Fizz, and the reason I picked this one out of all the other root beer bottles is because it was Red Ribbon, and all I could think of was the Red Ribbon Army from Dragon Ball, or from Dragon Ball. So I was like, "Oh, cool! Red Ribbon, Red Ribbon Army, Dragon Ball, Childhood Root Beer." It was okay. wasn't the greatest, wasn't the worst, just okay. Um, bottled, doesn't have an age, but it's from the Natrona Bottling Company in Pennsylvania. So that's cool. That's very fun. Alright, this next one I also got at Rocket Fizz. Um, it is, hmm, doesn't have an age, but it's got a very nice smooth label. It's Rocky Mountain Root Beer. Think so, yeah. Rocky Mountain Root Beer. It's got a very nice label, very smooth, very fresh, very cool, very suave. Um, it's got a ram on it, or a goat, or something. It's got a focus on the bottle, not me. There you go. Um, does it say? No, it didn't, it didn't say when it was established. Um, but I got this one at the Rocket Fizz, and I got it because it just looked nice, it looked old. It's got the, the ram, and I was like, cool, animals. I like animals. So I got this one. Um, this one was actually pretty good. It was a pretty good one. Um, it wasn't my favorite, of course, but it was pretty good. So that was cool. I think this one also didn't have a... No, it did. One of these didn't have a twist, and I tried to twist it, and I sliced my hand open. I can't remember which one it was. A couple of these didn't have twists. Which one would it have been? It might have been Barks. No, Barks had a, a cap that I popped that I didn't slice myself on. 
Huh, maybe not. Maybe I'm remembering a different drink. Weird. But Rocky Mountain Root Beer, pretty good. Okay, next we have Sioux City Root Beer. Or Sioux. Sioux City. Sioux City. Um, I got this one from a Kroger. I got a, another one of these from a Kroger. Too. Oh, yeah, I know. Um, this one's from Sioux City Beverages. Um, hmm, nothing, nothing else really special about it. It's got that dude on the front. He got a gun. He's a sheriff. Oh, I, the glare. He's a sheriff. I don't know. Is it going to focus or not? Focus. Okay, well, he, trust me. He's a sheriff. He's got a badge and a gun and a root beer. Because that's what sheriffs do. Um, this is actually a pretty heavy bottle now that I feel it. I uh, got this one from a Kroger. I think I went there with my brother. Um, it wasn't great, but it wasn't awful. It was just an okay root beer. It wasn't one to write home about, unlike, you know, Balls or Barks, which were two very good root beers. Um, that's all I've got to say about that one. That one was cool. Alright, next we have one that I am having... I've been having trouble trying to figure out how it's said. Um, wait, why does this one say enjoy in moderation? It's not alcoholic. <laughs> this is... Oh my goodness. It's Fire Brood, I guess. How the... What is the name of you? Okay, I can see it here, but I can't, like, read it. It's in a weird... Weird font. Hmm... Sprecher. Sprecher. This is Sprecher root beer. It's got a little dude on it. I don't know what his, his deal is. Is it green screening his beak? It totally is. Even though it's very yellow. Um, I guess this is a fire brewed root beer and I don't know what that means, but that's cool. Does it say what year? No. This one I got from a Kroger as well. Um, combining honey, vanilla, botanicals, which is botany botany stuff hmm there's nothing else really special about this one it wasn't great it wasn't awful this was just actually this is a very wide bottle <laughs> this is one of my wider bottles so that's cool I wonder if it's got if it's 12 fluid ounces like the rest no this one's 16 okay so this one's bigger I have some that are 10 I have most of them are 12 this one's 16 so this one's bigger than most so that's that's interesting Balls was 10. Balls was my smallest, I think. IBC might have been. Nope, IBC was 12. Balls was 10, and it was the smallest. Sprecher is 16, which is, I think, the biggest so far. That's cool. But it was just, it was an okay root beer. That's fun. All right, next up, we have Stewart's. Fountain Classic. What's special about the... Oh, this one was the first... 16 ounce root beer that I got. This was the biggest one that I've had for the longest time. Actually, this might be the one that I've had for the longest time, too. Wait, which one did I... Was this one the first one I got? I think this was. I think this was the first one that I got. I got this one from, a, I think, a Target. I don't remember. A Target or a Giant Eagle, one of those two, I think. Um, it wasn't... Any, it, it, this one would have been a while ago. Um, I don't remember how this one tastes. There's nothing else really special about it, other than it was my first one, um, and it's a 16 ounce bottle, which is cool. So that's fun. wasn't wasn't anything too special. wasn't anything too bad, but it was just you know a nice. A nice first addition, I believe, to the collection. So that's fun. All right, this next one might get green screen. The letters might, if I get close enough. I guess not. Um, this is Tim's Tavern. Uh, I got an itchy nose. This is Tim's Tavern Old Fashioned Root Beer. Um, I was at a restaurant. This is also by Private Label Beverages. Um, it's a fish place that I got this at. Ooh, why is it sticky? But. Oh, my label's chipping. Oh, well. 
I don't remember this one being any good or any bad. I remember seeing that they had... Or I was at this restaurant, I think... I don't remember when. I think I was there with the girl. I don't know. I don't remember. But... I got... I, I sat down and I'm like, Ooh, they got root beer. I'll take a root beer. And then they brought out a bottle. I'm like, Ooh, it's a bottle. I'll take that. And then I did. And now I have it. I don't remember it being good or bad. And I don't know anything else special about it. Other than it's one of those independently made ones. Which was also Hail Ale and Old... Or the El Camps. El Campesinos. So that's cool. That's fun. Okay. Now this one is very interesting to me. Yay! Okay. I'll put it back. This is Virgil's micro brewed root beer <clears throat> and look at this top <laughs> I remember getting this I think this one was from a giant eagle and I was like how do I do this and then it just pops oh, let me see if I can show you that again actually let me see if I can face it towards the camera and show you and you just push forward and it pops and then it come up and out so that was cool um, this one is actually the biggest bottle I have this is 16.9 fluid ounces ounces. Um, does it have an age? This one was actually pretty good, if I remember right. Um, it's its own brewing from Virgil's.com, it looks like. It doesn't have a year or something on it. But this one was actually pretty good. I do remember this one being pretty good. So this is my biggest bottle, and it was pretty good. Not my favorite, but it was pretty good. I'll say it again, it was pretty good. <laughs> from a giant eagle. If I'm not mistaken. Cool. That's cool. And the last one of my collection is Wild Bill's root beer. Old fashioned root beer. Home of Wild Bill's 30 piece pizza. This one, if I'm not mistaken, I got it, okay, there's a story behind this one actually, I do remember this. Um, my car, it's horn when I got it, I didn't check it when I bought it from the dealer, and when I was, when I first used it, it sounded like a dying animal, I kid you not, it was disgusting. We went and we looked and it was all rusted out, the other one, there were like two of them and one of them wasn't even really attached, so that sucked. So eventually I got my buddy to, um come over and help me get a new one and we went to a junkyard to get a new horn so that we didn't have to go buy a real expensive one when it, we could just get an old one that would be okay so we stopped by this little convenience store looking thing and I was like ooh bought a root beer wild bills cool so I got this one and I also got an orange drink from there which wasn't actually very good the orange drink wasn't that great but this was this was okay this was a, this was a fun story it took us way too long to get that done. That job should have been like an hour at most. It took us like four hours. <laughs> we were just idiots. But that's actually my last one. That's my last bottle. I have 20 of them. I have 20 of these bottles. So my final verdicts will come here. We will look right now at my favorite. My favorite is Barks. Barks root beer is delicious, hands down. I've always, always enjoyed Barks root beer. It's always been the sweetest, always been one of my favorites. Um, whether or not it's good for me, I don't know. I don't really care. I put whatever. I'm gonna die anyway. So cool. Um, Barks root beer has always been my favorite. My least favorite <coughs> would be. The Rambling Root Beer's Maple Root Beer. Rambling Root Beer that might have regular root beer. I got maple. It wasn't great. It reminded me of bacon, and I didn't like drinking bacon. So this was my least favorite. The oldest established root beer in my collection goes to Polar. Which is cool because it's another clear bottle is a winner. That's interesting. Um... So this one was established in 1882, which beats Boyland by 91, uh, nine years. 
So this one was established nine years before Boyland, which was the contender for oldest, but this one is the oldest. So, that's fun. Alright, now this next one I'm not certain about, but I think I'd have to go with, for my favorite bottle of all of, of my 20, would have to go to Virgil's. Virgil's. Is Virgil's or Virgil's? I don't know. I think this one's my favorite bottle just because of this nifty little contraption up here. Plus it was the biggest bottle. Plus this is one of my oldest in the collection. So this one is just it's just so interesting. It just I feel like a pirate with this. I do. I really feel like a pirate with this bottle. So this is very fun. So this would have to be my favorite bottle. Lastly, my favorite name out of all of these would have to easily go to balls. <laughs> Of all the names of all these root beers, Balls Root Beer, that's just funny. I mean, I do like the bottle a lot. It's got these little bumps on it, which is cool. But Balls, really? That's fun. That's cool. I like that. And that does it for Ruby Wire's Root Beer Bottles. Um, this has been... I've been recording for 40 minutes. I did not think this was going to take that long. That was about two minutes for every bottle, if that... Um, what else should I share with you? Um, April Fool's Day. Uh, there wasn't a gaming video up today. It wasn't a skit, nothing you know normal. So I figured this was fun, and I actually did want to. I actually did want to share this. This wasn't like a hey haha joke. I'm gonna go buy 20 root beers and make a joke out of it and tell fake stories. This is all true. This is actually something that I do. This is actually a collection I have. Um, that being said, this is not going to get me anything. But if there is a root beer person, company, anything out there, I would love to try it. Like, if there's something I don't have here, I would love to try it. Get in contact with me. My email is in the, uh, the description of my channel. It's fun, it's cool, it's tasty fresh. Also, if any of these brands would like to sponsor me, very unlikely, but I would actually probably take a sponsorship from a root beer company, or a bottling company. As long as I can get root beers from it I would have no problem adding those bottles to my collection maybe even talking about it like I would love to do that I love root beer but this has been Ruby Wire's root beer bottles I hope you enjoyed I hope you learned a little bit about me and my weird history and my weirdo collections and oh, so many memories and so many bottles such a good time notice I don't have any alcoholic ones so that's fun. No alcoholic root beers in this collection. Um, not yet. Not yet, at least. Regular videos will be coming back out. Um, it means Dead Space got pushed back a bit, I think, which is fine. And... I mean, that's it. As I collect more bottles, I will add them to the description. Um, at some point in the future, if I have a significant number more bottles, I might do a second part of this. I don't know. It all depends. We don't know what the future has in store for us, except death. Except death. You know what, actually, accept death and accept death. <clears throat> one with the EX, one with the AC. You gotta, you gotta do, you gotta. Death comes for us all. Unus Anus. <laughs> Thank you, Unus Anus, for teaching me that. Oh my gosh. Um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.